Hello friends, family and fellow YouTubers. Today I'm walking around an A340. This is a 300 model. And you can see by the center body gear that it only has two wheels with no brakes. The 600 on the other hand has a set like this of four wheels in the center gear as well with the brakes fitted. Um, it's just to do with the weight of the aircraft where the 300 and the 200 does not require this at all as the aircraft doesn't even have to have the center gear for the landing. I just want to show you something interesting that it's on this aircraft that is not on others. Um, here we're looking at the left hand main bogey and you can see there's the, the chrome extension for the shock that goes up all the way up into the body of the strut right to the top with the undercarriage jack is the extension of the retraction and the lock mechanism the unlock it's a bit dark but I'll see if I can get a bit high to show you a couple of interesting things what's interesting about this aircraft as I can't get on this wheel quickly is that it has a device to shorten the leg of the aircraft which is fitted I'm trying to crawl across the wheels here if you can see it properly This device actually shortens the aircraft shock. It's over there. So what happened with this particular model, the 200, 300, and even the 600, is that the main gear is actually too tall to fit into the wheel well. It's over there. So what they've come up with is this device. That's over there. That shortens the shock, actually pulls in that chrome part a couple of inches at the bottom there and shortens the wheels just enough so they would fit into the wheel well. Isn't that quite interesting? I'm trying to climb off this wheel again, show you some more interesting stuff. Oh, you just jump, it's easier. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, here we're back at the main wheels. What we have here is a pressure sensor which they use to, to display the actual wheel pressure in the cockpit. Over there is the inflator. And at the bottom here, there's basically a pressure lever of the liquid temperature, or over temperature, which is a device that like a blowout that would help in case of fire or over temperature, it would deflate the tire instead of having the tire explode on you. And some more interesting things, here's the brakes. Okay. This aircraft fitted the ceramic brakes. There's a stator and a rotor. And then the tabs that hold them in place in the wheel, as well as a, a heat shield. So yeah, that's interesting as well. And then, we have a brake wear indicator. So there's a pin over here. And this pin moves in as the brakes wear down, wear down and wear down until they get to a point flush with this face. And when it gets to that point, the brake's actually worn to limits and has to be changed. Other interesting things is we have a temperature sensor as well in the brakes, which is over here. And it's a tube going in. You would do that video. It goes in over there, all the way into the center of the rake that measures the temperature of the wheel. And it's also displayed on the wheel page in the cockpit. So quite interesting to see these things. And it's just strange to have that shortening device that lives up there that shortens the entire main gear to fold into the wheel well. Then there's another interesting to note which is on most aircraft, um, is that they use retreaded tires, which uh, this is one, and I can show you why it's one, but, except that you can see here that's grooved from them cutting it away to get the new tread on. A retreaded tire always comes with a serial number at the end of it, and then it says this, 
or one or two or three it goes up. So this tells me that this tire has been retraded once. That is quite interesting compared to a tire that is not retraded. You won't see the pattern there at all. And this tire will not come with the serial number. So that is quite interesting. So it's not just the main wheels that they do retreads. They do it on the nose gear as well. Let's take a little stroll to the front of the aircraft. Let's see if it's got a retread in the front as well. Oh yes it has. There you can see it. And if you also be able to see the serial number and then it's the first we could let's have a look at the other side oh, this one is a retread as well serial number and an R2 which means it's a second retread that is quite brilliant Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, a brilliant day in Cape Town, so have a nice day and thank you for watching.